Hi, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, add a sample questionnaire activity. So let's go to uh, editing is turned on in Moodle and we're going to add an activity and we click on questionnaire. Okay, so we're going to name this questionnaire sample questionnaire. Okay, and we have to have a summary of some type. So this is where you're going to give your um, your instructions to the student. Okay. So it's always best to have good, solid written instructions. The fact is that the students, um, you know, back when there was a, back when the, you know, paper cost money, it was hard to uh, to disseminate written instructions. There was kind of an argument for not having them. Uh, but now with you know, it's all electronic, so it's always better to have written instructions. If a student, you know, if the person next to them sneezes or they're absent or or whatever the problem was with them listening, um, it's better, you know, multiple modes of instruction are always better. So, boy, I'm having trouble getting to my sample instructions here. Okay, so let's just go to, uh, we would say that we want to um, an introduction. Okay, and then we want instructions. Okay. Okay, and then I always add a section in what to turn in for your grade. Okay, regardless of what the activity is, even if it's not graded, the student should know that. I run into a lot of students who um, who simply who will get low grades on assignments simply because of the fact that the teacher didn't communicate what it was that the student was supposed to turn in for a grade. Okay, students don't have the same logic that you might assume that they have. So. Um, I suggest that you that you add in uh, what to tune in for your grade, but um, okay. So from a, and it's interesting because that's from project management perspective. Uh, those are your deliverables. So that's important, most important thing of of the project to leave that out of of student instructions would be silly. So or to not call it out in particular would be silly. Okay, but you should follow your style guide. These are just suggestions from one teacher. So, uh, so we have a sample questionnaire. We have the summary. That's going to be the student-facing instructions. We have the timing. That's the open and close date. Of uh, if you want to stop, uh, you know, open and close the questionnaire at a certain date. Uh, now the type and respondent type. Okay, so we can have an anonymous one. We can also say how many times they can respond or the rate at which they can respond: which is daily, weekly, monthly, once, or just many. They respond as much as they want. Uh, students can view all responses. I was after the questionnaire is closed. That's what I like to do. So save and resume uh, answers. Uh, let's put no. Um, submission grade. If it's going to be a long questionnaire, you really should put yes. In fact, yes is probably the better response, only because of the fact that um, you know it's kind of unpredictable as to when they'll be finished doing their questionnaire. They, you know, um, if a bell were to ring or something, you know, it's better to have things saved than not saved. Okay, so we have a, a group mode. Create new. Uh, content options create new. So, so just as like in any um, complicated Moodle uh, activity, what they do is we, we've really just edited the properties, and now we're going to go actually in and create the question. So, if we we view that's a preview of the questionnaire, we can get to questions. So, let's say that we want to add a specific question type. Let's say a rating on a scale of one to five. Okay, so question type is going to be teacher quality. That's going to be the question name. The question text is rate rate your teacher teacher one is bad five is good. Okay, I'm just putting these sample ones in. Obviously, yours would be better. Now, possible answers. What you're going to do is uh, your um, of instructions. So what um, what you'll do is is that you'll separate the uh, the 
options by line. So clarity of instructions, clarity of voice. Okay, uh, how about uh, caring demeanor? Okay, so you put in all of these, you click Save Changes. Okay, so this is just an example of one type of question. Then we can go and we can actually view the um, can actually view the responses. So in this case, you know, rate your tape, rate your teacher. One is bad, five is good. So we would go through. They would select your um, the options and then click click submit questionnaire. Okay, and thank you for completing the questionnaire and continue. There we go, and then the students, if you've marked, marked uh, this option, they can then view the responses. Hope this helps. Good luck.